There's a look at downtown Los Angeles from the air. We're coming to you live from the Staples Center. Hi, everyone. Time to get into it. NBA action on 2K Sports. In this game, we'll see the Los Angeles Lakers going up against the Miami Heat. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Brett Perry and Greg Anthony. We've got David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. T.A., it's all yours. Well, we all saw the media frenzy that surrounded Anthony Davis when his plans to leave New Orleans emerged. He said, the things I do in the community, being a good teammate, playing hard, championships, all that stuff matters the most to me. Between money or legacy, my legacy will win that battle every time. Kevin? Winning a big part of it, David. Thank you. A lot of experience out on that floor in front of us, Brent. Your career spanned 14 seasons. Talk about how you saw the game differently as a veteran player versus the first couple years in the NBA. Well, I saw it from the bench, quite frankly, as a veteran, <laughs> Kevin. Um, now, no, wait a minute. Now, yeah. hold on now. I know that's not altogether true. <laughs> I, I think the game just slows down. You yeah. start to understand that there is a, a tempo and a rhythm not only to any given quarter, but any given game and any given season. So it's really, Kevin, about the idea of it, it slowing down. And I, I did sit on the bench this year, Kevin. That is true. A little bit. 14 still a good number. But it turned out well for you. Well, I get to sit next to you. Well, it's a lot of fun. You're right. It's a lot of fun. So here's Miami's starting group. At the two and the three, it's Butler and Winslow. In the middle, it's Olenek and Adebayo. And it's Dragic in at the five. And for the Lakers, Green and LeBron at the two and the three. Up front, it's Kuzma and Davis. And it's Rondo in at the point. That's just amazing work from Winslow. Knows he was going to get hit, but he possesses that strength and concentration to hit the shot. Miami shooting their first free throw attempt on the night. good from Winslow uh, if you look at Miami's future and it was inside a crystal ball that picture has got to be a bit foggy at this point they've been in the middle of the pack for a long time but taking a chance this offseason and bringing in Jimmy Butler as their lone star we'll see if that recruitment process pays off in some ways for Miami to reestablish some of their culture It's the Heat with the ball. It's a three-point game. Now here's Dragic. Butler on the way. You know, and, and Butler wasn't a starter until midway through his second season. But, but since then, his minutes have gone up. And his productivity has gone way up. The Heat have shot just one free throw earlier. One for one in the game. And looking at last season's numbers, down below 70% as a team from the line. Makes the first. And so Butler nails both of them. Well, a great player on a great roll at the charity stripe the D has got to be careful about being too aggressive on him and sending him back for freebies LeBron dishes to Rondo to the paint here's Davis and it's Davis finishing it off orchestrating right now Rondo should be playing with a baton I get you against green right side Dragic on the way. Six to shoot. 
Got a piece of it. It's stolen by Davis. Last break. The Lakers. James with the ball. The basket counts and one. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it a three-point play. It's underrated, but Rondo possesses terrific strength. Even when you get the contact, he has a way of being able to create and finish shots. gets motivated and we've seen that now for a good stretch he's as valuable as it gets Nuggets looking it over he dishes it to Winslow pass to Butler over Rondo and a little luck that time but it drops very steady in between game there for Butler. You, you don't want to let him get too many of those. Well, they say players are made in the summertime. And that's Jimmy Butler's favorite time of year. He calls it grindy season. He gets out in the country and puts in that work. And that's exactly what he's looking for draining the trip. Rogic kicks to Winslow. Green against Butler. And that one is off. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. And Greg, those summertime workouts for Butler, they are something. I mean, they sure are. He calls them bandanas and buckets. Grows his hair out. Two-a-days, hot yoga. Intentionally isolated from the hustle and bustle of the big city. It gives him an excuse to really just lock in. Yeah, a nice, strong finish on the inside. But, Greg, that's what he does. He's got the dunker mentality. Outside Rondo. And it's Davis at the elbow. And they double up Davis. Back to Rondo. From deep green. And it's good coming on the assist by Rajon Rondo. Rondo's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Outside Dragic. There's the pass to Winslow. He kicks it to Butler. With the shot. Anthony Davis grabs the miss. Well, he wants that one over again. I guarantee that. Nobody's even in the neighborhood. And it's Dragic with the foul. That's foul number two for him. That's a whistle he did not want to hear his second foul, and we're not even out of the first quarter. Here's what the Lakers are going with right now. Cousins comes in for Kyle Kuzma, and it's Caldwell Pope in for Danny Green. And a new group getting ready for Miami. Leonard, he's checked in for Otto Bayer. Thompson comes in for Kelly Olynyk. Jones checked in for Justice Winslow. And Hero subbed in for Jimmy Butler. The Heat trail by six. One fifty-three left in the first quarter. Here's Dragic. Who's back up? That shot off. Great tee that time from Rondo. Guys, uh, they've been getting it done. They came out with a mission, and they have been tough to stop. And this is right around the time when one team might start to pull away. Yeah, this team is looking to add to the lead, trying to put the other team away, and threatening here. Will it go? Anthony Davis grabs the miss. That's one he knows he should have drained. And a big summer for the Lakers, trading for Anthony Davis for a time. Greg, it even looked like they had a great shot at landing Kawhi Leonard. He ends up choosing the Clippers, which gives rise to a compelling rivalry. The nexus of NBA basketball has shifted to the City of Angels. Whichever team you root for, L.A. fans with a lot to celebrate. The Lakers have gone one for one, making their previous attempt at the line. And looking at last season's numbers, down below 70% as a team from the line. JaVale McGee's checked in for the Lakers. Troy Daniels comes in for LeBron. What's up? The free throw drops for Cousins. 
Well, one thing you can say about the Heat team, very long and very athletic. That right, helped them out. really stay competitive in a lot of games, but when you can't shoot the ball, really, really hard to come back in games where there's teams firing away from three and you can't mount any sort of offensive comeback. And Miami calls their first time out of the game. Trying to snap them out of this little slump. Well, they can't find the net right now, and all they need, I think, is just to get one to go, get back on track. Jones against Caldwell Pope. Waiters outside. Some nice ball movement here by the Heat. Four on the shot clock. Johnson for three. Trains the three-pointer. So huge for this offense if Johnson can be consistent with that jump shot. When he's connecting from deep, just eases everything up. Daniels with it. He's guarded by Waiter. The pass to Rondo. In the corner, Daniel. Here's Cousins, and he converts the layup. Cousins has got five. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this lead. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game clock. Johnson finds Waiters. to Hero. Over Caldwell Pope. Hero no good. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better than that ring. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers with a 10-point lead. Some breathing room heading into the break. They're pounding the ball inside and that's where they've gotten their best production tonight. Right back after this break. Butler, a hard worker on the floor and off the court as well, possesses a unique individuality. I worked extremely hard to get where I am today, so whenever you walk to my house, you see a really big, some may call it obnoxious, uh, boombox aquarium, but I love music. I don't really watch too much TV. It's always music, so it's just another thing to remind me, continue to be who you are. Just have fish inside of it. A boombox aquarium, huh? <laughs> Points for originality, Greg. Butler, not shy, breaking from convention, beats to the rhythm of his own drum. And welcome back to the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And from what we've seen so far from the Lakers, guys, what are your thoughts? Boy, that their offense looks really good when everyone's in sync. Terrific first quarter. I yeah, couldn't ask for a better one right now. Just a complete rhythm by all the guys who got some minutes. Wonderful start. And now brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. Taking a look at Los Angeles. We've got DeMarcus Cousins. Contavious Caldwell Pope is out there with JaVale McGee. And it's Daniels in at the two-guard spot. It was to the chagrin of many that Cousins joined the Warriors last season, but it looked to be the right choice for him. Got to take his time rehabbing and came back to a team in first place with no pressure. And the Lakers have possession after Deion Waiters miss. And Cousins gets it to go. Yeah, you might want to call down some recruits to try to stop DeMarcus Cousins. Five might not be enough. Passes it to Hero. Outside Leonard. To the middle. 
That one's good. The Laker lead is cut down to 12 points. The points that time coming from Hero. And with Cousins last year, you know, Greg, he came back with a bit of a minutes restriction. And Kevin, time will tell just how full a recovery Cousins can make. But last year went how he hoped it would with regards to taking a year to get things right and be in a good situation. Here's Waiters. And too long on the shot. And I'm not sure that is a shot that he should be taking. No, he, he should know better. He knows that's not his game, which is why we don't see him take that shot often. Here is Daniels. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. McGee, that's his second shot on, and his out. second basket. He's two for two. And Matador defense, that's one of the easiest shots he is ever going to see. Yeah, feels like Christmas right now, just gift wrapping points. Now a timeout called by Miami. The defensive rules were different when you played, Brent. For example, the elimination of the hand check. Hand checking was huge because great defensive guards like a Derek Harper or a Mookie Blaylock could get their forearm on you and basically move you around rather than you mm -hmm. trying to get where you want to go. And the other thing, Kevin, that they did was they didn't allow you to have the, the time in the free throw line. You have a 2.9 before in the legal defense. It used to be a game, really, of two stars on on one side right. of the floor operating and the rest of the guys sort of shoveled off in the corner on the other side. All those things have changed with the way the league has gone. For the better. Oh, I think so. Yeah, yes. Freedom of movement, yes. fluidity of the athletes. Uh, it's definitely a better game in terms of the movement. Los Angeles will go for a different look here and Anthony Davis is checked in for Cousins. Kyle Kuzma comes in for JaVale McGee. LeBron's checked in for Caldwell Pope and Bradley subbed in for Troy Daniels. Now here's Dragic. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Two free throws coming up and they call the shooting foul. It's going to be on Avery Bradley. And Greg, when you look at the top perimeter defenders in the game today, how hot does Jimmy Butler rank on that list? Look, he's in the top handful, no doubt about it. Multiple all-defense selections. He is a true two-way terror. Free throw drops for Butler. And so Butler nails both of them. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. Looking it over. Doesn't go that time. Now the Heat take it the other way. Kuzma against Dragic. Butler kicks to Winslow. Pass to Olenek. Five on the clock. Good and the nice assist from Winslow. And really, the improvement as a finisher is noticeable for Kelly Olenek. LeBron against Winslow. LeBron passes to Kuzma. Hits it from three-point range. Kuzma's got his first three points of the game. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flame. Yeah, he's the guy that you want to go to right now, trying to put this one away. Outside, Butler. Back to Winslow. Kuzma pulls it in. That's not going to make you a favorite target of your teammates. They'll think twice about feeding you if you're going to keep missing layups. The Heat trail by 13. The pass to Butler in the corner. Winslow with it. Miami 
Miami needs to get a shot off. Here's Autobio. Rebounded by the Lakers. Well, he's a guy they count on to produce from the mid-range. He doesn't miss too many open looks from there. James finds Kuzma. Olenek with the steal. Kuzma against Winslow. A shot, no good. Kuzma with the defensive effort. He has a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, DeMarcus Cousins suffered an Achilles injury, and it was a major setback for him, but it was also an eye-opener. Cousins said any given day could be your last day playing, and all the celebrity, all the fame ends. My love for the game has grown, but at the same time, I want to be more than just a basketball player. And Kevin, challenges can put anything into perspective. Thank you, D.A. Here's LeBron. Jimmy Butler making his last shot. Back to Cook. Outside Brent. Just five on the clock. The Lakers need to get a shot off here. Kuzma. Here's Davis. Rebound by Olenek. That's the only kind of defense that's going to cut the mustard here tonight. You got to stay on top of a guy like that who can play at such a high level offensively. And that ability to just rise up for the alley oop. Butler is an animal of an athlete. Here's Davis. Jimmy Butler making his last shot. Right side Bradley. Back to Davis. That one wide left. Outside Dragic. Butler on the way. Misses in close. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers. Ahead by nine as the quarter comes to a close. Their lead is where it is because they've gotten good shots. A lot of good shots. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thank you, Kevin, here with Contavious Caldwell Pope. And Contavious, you guys were getting a lot of offensive rebounds in the first half. How important was that? They're important, man. We got to keep them off the glass. Uh, we can't get them second shot, and we got our offensive rebound too as well. Get us on the second chance at the basket. Just keep working hard. Well, you made it work in the first half, KCP. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks for the great interview, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of basketball following halftime. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal. And the Jet, Kenny Smith. Let's get to it. It's the Lakers out on top at halftime. They have a nine-point lead. Shaq, what was your takeaway on the Lakers? Well, Kenny should appreciate this. I love the ball room. They were in sync as a unit, and their assist numbers were impressive. Anytime you get five players working together like that instead of one guy doing it alone, it's always going to be a boost. That's the primary reason they're in control of the game. Kenny, what did you think about Miami? Well, one problem I see is that they're too timid on the board. When you start to fall behind in the game, you need to become more aggressive on the offensive glass and the defensive glass. Thanks for joining us, folks. We're now just a few minutes away from the start of the third quarter. third quarter of basketball for you two quarters in the books we are seeing a tremendous game from jimmy butler really impressed with the shot selection through the first half just taking what he can get from the defense yeah i'm thinking back to the first half and wondering did he take a low percentage shot everything efficient and it's butler with the ball he'll bring it up for miami on the court for the Heat. In the middle, it's Olinick and Adebayo. The backcourt, Dragic and Butler. And it's Winslow in at the three, the small four. Here's Dragic. No good. Great tee that time from Green. And they continue to control the glass. And looking back, an underrated part of the DeRozan Kawhi trade, the Raptors also getting Danny Green. Green, one of the better 3 and D wings in the league. Way more than a throw. -in. Now 
here's James. Right on the bucket. James has got five points so far. And the in-between game showing off here by LeBron. Does his share of damage from the mid-range and another one there. From 11 feet away, no good from Trogic. And you look at Danny Green's play, he had both ends. Hard to believe the Spurs gave him up. I mean, over 40% from long range, locked down defensively. Not a lot of flash, but plenty of substance to his game. And the GOAT conversation. LeBron has said his motivation is to surpass Michael Jordan as the greatest of all time. Greg, what do you think he needs to do to bolster his case? I think for the naysayers, the obvious answer is more rings. You look at the other numbers, including those eight consecutive finals appearances, LeBron is in the discussion. The first free throw is good. The alley you play, Brent, fan favorite. Love it as broadcasters. Who are some of the best uh, lob partners in the game now? Well, I think the last two years, might be three years, that the best combination has been down in Houston with James Harden coming off and finding Clint Capella at the rim and, and seemingly throwing it just about anywhere. What I'm curious about is in this year's combination in New Orleans and who it's going to be. Is it going to be Drew Holiday? Because on the the back end, the of, other that, end of it, Zion Williamson <laughs> probably would be pretty fun to put on this list. Oh, my goodness. Now here's Winslow. Now Butler. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. And how about the strength inside there from Butler? Just excellent at finding ways to get the D to foul him down low. And this is his third trip to the line tonight. And a very steady season for him at the charity stripe last year. He was right at 85%. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw. Good Butler. He makes one of two that time. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. And LeBron gets it to go with the assist by Kuzma. LeBron's got the lead up to 14 now for Los Angeles. Well, their pass it to Dragic. He can't get it to go. Great T that time from Green. And still... He scores, boy. They could use just a little bit of help from him. Well, the talk at halftime must have been a good one right now. Three straight buckets to start the quarter. Two minutes gone in this third quarter now. Butler finds Adebayo. Down low. There's Winslow. And the dunk by Winslow. Well, Winslow plus power equals slam. Los Angeles leading by 14. James left side and contact on the shot so he'll be shooting free throws here still playing at an MVP level LeBron James the greatest player of his generation and some would argue of all time we can't take for granted what we've been able to witness one is off and now in his mid 30s LeBron showing no sign of slowing down man his dedication to training and, and really maintaining his body second to none uh, alongside his prodigious athleticism it seems that's made a huge difference here's what the Lakers are going with right now DeMarcus Cousins is checked in for Davis and Daniels subbed in for Kyle Kuzma good on the second free throw 
Well, every night, the competitive killer instinct of LeBron James makes him as elite as he's been. Of course, a future first ballot Hall of Famer and a lot of gas, it seems, left in the tank for LeBron James. Now, here's Butler. 13 That's points great. in the game. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. Uh, beyond the leaning, you could see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. Got to hold firm or you're going to get a call. Los Angeles making a switch here. McGee's checked in. Here is Daniels. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Good. And still perfect in the second half. Four straight picks. Rondo against Winslow. Pass to Hero. Outside Butler. Olenek trying to break loose. And Butler gets it to go. Butler's got 15 points. And, and Butler loves getting close to the basket. Once he's down low, he, he uses that strength and quick release to get shots off. Now here is McGee. Cousins. It's blocked. Third quarter action in just under three and a half minutes have gone. And the basket by Jones. Yeah, there's a good indicator of Winslow and his feel for the game. I like how much he makes a concentrated effort to get the ball right there to the open man. Here is Daniels. Outside Rondo. Shot clock at six. Daniels inside the line. And it's off the back rim. No good. Here's Hero. And the baseline jumper, no good. Winslow against Ronda. McGee in the high post. It's good coming on the assist by Rajon Rondo. Rondo's got assist number eight here in this one already. Timeout called the Heat. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. Yeah, they're like a four-day-old soda right now. Just flat, Greg. They're missing shots left and right and just not playing their best. with some changes. Kyle Kuzma's checked in for JaVale McGee. Caldwell Pope comes in for Green, and it's Avery Bradley in for Troy Daniels. And then for Miami, Leonard, he's checked in for Kelly Olynyk. Johnson comes in for Buck, and Deion Waiters subbed in for Justice Winslow. The feed to Bradley. An easy two points on the layup. And the Lakers lead by 17. A great at maintaining some balance on that play. Bradley gets physical, but stays with the play. Waiters outside. Not loose. And that'll be Miami as it goes out of bounds. The Heat retain possession. And Greg, when you evaluate Avery Bradley, the offense isn't what it once was. But the defense is certainly still there. Yeah, Bradley has struggled with the scoring in, in recent years, but defense, that does not go cold. Still a menace to ball handlers, and his reach and length can suffocate perimeter players. Here's Hero. Again, the miss by the Heat. Yeah, and they've shown effort and aggression in the paint, really right from the tip. Their rebounding edge right now, massive. It's stolen by Bradley. Kuzma outside. There's the dish to Rondo. Caldwell Pope with a wide open look. A three-pointer no good. 
The Heat trail by 17. seconds left to play here in the third. Waiters dishes to Johnson. Shot clock at five. Over Cousins. Johnson can't hit. And here's Bradley. Stolen by Waiters. Got the shot! He oh, just caught it! No better feeling to be able to deliver in a moment like that. Yeah. Those stick with you for the rest of your life. Absolutely. Oh, beats the buzzer from way down court. These fans are stunned. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits, it may be difficult to overcome. Lakers ahead, leading by 14. Live from... One quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. And it's Rondo with the ball for the Lakers. Green and Rondo in the backcourt. Up front, it's Kuzma and Davis. And it's LeBron in at the three. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. The Heat trail by 14. He could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. That's on LeBron James. 240 pounds at six foot eight. That's where James Johnson right there can be intimidating against any opponent, especially inside. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him. Well, the veteran James Johnson has been in the league for quite some time now, and he's had a few different stops. You can't deny the fact that James Johnson has some incredible talents shooting, handling, controlling the offense from that point four position. He does a really nice job and has found a home here in Miami. That one misses. And for Johnson now, over a decade of service time in the NBA. Brent, that's some great veteran leadership. Great veteran leadership, great experience to draw from, but finding a home in Miami, case in point, last year for the Miami Heat, James Johnson was elected the team captain. So nice to see some of that hard work, obviously, paying off here in terms of the respectability of James Johnson. And the first one drops. And such an important contributor to his team's success over the years. It's amazing that Green was a second round pick and coming out of a big school at that. All free throws good from Green. They're doing a better job of working themselves to the line here in the second half. Hero passes to Johnson. Raiders against Green. Here's Trogic. Almost, but it rolls out. Lakers leading by 15. Kuzma finds James. Green against Waiters. On deep, James. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. LeBron's got 12 points here in the second half. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. Here's Hero. Covered by LeBron. It's good. Obviously, a mix-up defensively on that possession. Los Angeles has gotten a success rate of just over 50% from three-point tonight. Four of seven shooting. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. Outside Rondo. 
six on the shot clock. The three. And again, it's the Lakers from deep. Better outside when he gets into a rhythm or when he gets his feet set. Rondo's smart at knowing when to fire. And the Heat call time here. And Coach can't be happy, and, and I think I know why. Their defense putting up no resistance inside. No, they're not preventing them from scoring, and if you can get to a high-efficiency shot on the floor, and that's the paint, you just keep going. checked in for Leonard. Oh, Leonard comes in for Johnson. Justice Winslow, he's checked in for Waiters. And it's Butler in for Hero. Butler kicks to Dragic. Out left to the wing. Poke loose. It's stolen by Rondo. Now the Lakers on the break. Floats it up for James. Boy, you have to be impressed with the offensive production. They have got it firing on all cylinders. I mean, this team is just dangerous. Right now, every shot that they're putting up feels like it's going in. Rondo against Dragic. Lock at six. From 12 feet out. Tries again. And Adebayo with the lay-in. Adebayo's got his first bucket in this one. You don't want to ever give up points on the boards. That's the lesson for the team there. That's a hustle play to save points. That's tipped. It's three on three on the fast break. And Adebayo throws it down. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. And the gamble paying off. They get the rebound. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. Butler against Green. And it's Butler missing. Not a bad shot from the mid-range. The D's giving it to him, and he's usually got an eye in that kind of range. Here's Rondo. The baseline jumper goes down. And the Lakers lead by 19. Yep, can be a threat from the mid-range whenever Rondo looks to get it going from there. Rogic dishes to Winslow. Six on the shot clock. And Adebayo throws it down. I like how quickly Winslow got rid of the ball there. Exceptional feel for went to dish in the pick and roll. Timeout called the Lakers. Amazing to watch the 10th overall pick in 2014 in Justice Winslow manage his career and positional change in the NBA. I mean, last year he had a very underrated season. Averaged 12 points, five rebounds, four assists. A lot of what Miami was trying to do last year had to deal with Justice Winslow playing some point forward and initiating a lot of their offense, especially in the wake of the Dragic injury. chance to present our Jordan player of the game Rajon Rondo and in terms of his shooting this has been one of the more accurate performances you'll ever see I mean he's been in constant motion 
creating a lot of good looks for himself. But, but still, even when you're wide open, you expect to miss some of the time. That has not been the case here tonight. This guy has made everything. It's Davis on the wing. He's guarded by Adebayo. Davis with it. And it's tonight. And so the ball's out of bounds. Winslow touched it last. There's 154 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Give them credit. They've worked hard all game now looking to finish it. No, great job of getting in position to win a game. It's been an all-out effort from the squad. That's just tremendous scoring instinct. So fun to watch him work in the half court. Now here's Rondo. Back to green. Shot clock at six. Some solid defense from Butler. And so it's Butler with it. He'll bring it up for Miami. And this is what they wanted. I mean, to announce their presence in this matchup with authority. Very decisive. It can definitely be considered a statement win for Los Angeles. You know, it's tough to put your finger on the deciding factor in this one, but I'd say that the shooting accuracy made the difference. Yeah, I think you're on point, Kevin. They got better looks, and that tends to lead to a better field goal percent. And we watched one guy all night long, guys, and look at the stats just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for Rajon Rondo. He just looked like an orchestrator out there. His teammates kept running to the open spot, and he found them time and time again. Inside. And Olenek kicks to Dragic. The three. And James pulls it down. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game clock. To the inside. And the dunk by James. An impressive job by the players, coaches, and don't discount the impact of these fans. Awesome to see their output tonight, trying to urge their team on, and that can always help. That, that home advantage of home fans getting you going fully on display here. And so it's the Lakers taking care of business here, and the outcome of this one was never in doubt. And boy, they really put in a supreme effort. Uh, it just felt like once they had that lead and it was comfortable, they were not going to relinquish it. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Danny, a strong defensive effort both individually and team. Now, how comfortable are you at that end of the floor now knowing that you can make things tough on the opposition? Well, um, we want to make them take tough shots. Um, we're not comfortable at any point defensively, but we got to continue to be active and be aggressive and get our hands on loose balls. It's been the mark of the Spurs for a long time, Danny. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Brett Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Alden, this is Kevin Harlan along with our 2K Sports crew. And we'll see you next time.